All right, welcome everyone on how to unlock Pack-A-Punch in Mob of the Dead. If you ever thought in any other zombie map that Pack-A-Punch was annoying, wait till you come to Mob of the Dead. It actually took me 20 whole rounds to figure out how to unlock it and I blamed the warden's office because I didn't actually know how to do it. Now, if you're going to want to do this uh, Pack-A-Punching your guns, if you're going to want to do that, you're going to need the warden's key. I'll link an annotation up uh, above so you guys can see uh, where and how to get the warden's key. Uh, it's pretty simple. But over here is the first part that you're going to need for the plane. And uh, for those of you who don't know, you use the plane to get to the Pack-A-Punch, which will be on the Golden Gate Bridge. So over here, all you have to do is power this and get the jet fuels, I think this is. And uh, once you've got these, just make sure there's no zombies around you, because if they are, you're going to get trapped. It's a dead end. So revive yourself and uh, get the jet fuel tanks of whatever. The next one... The next part is uh, near Juggernaut, so come to Juggernaut, if you don't know where that is, you can watch my Juggernaut location video, I'll put that in the annotation as well. So come down over here, you're going to want to go to the staircases and uh, basically the mineshaft, I guess, you know, Minecraft logic over here. But basically there's going to be this big circle uh, mining thing and you're going to want to unlock this cage. And inside this cage has got some um, electric... Uh, circuits, number things, machines, and then uh, what you're going to want to do is, instead of actually nading yourself, you want to go to a... Basically an electric socket will let you down yourself and then you can go into afterlife mode instead if you do You know hold a grenade you lose your perk. So I didn't notice that I was still a noob So learn the numbers when you're going down so it's 615 and then enter 615 onto the electric circuit boards or whatever these machines are and then once you've done this uh, The cage will fall on the left hand side and that will have the second part to build the plane I can't remember what actually the part was I tried to catch it in the camera But I missed it so to actually get the second part what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go back down the Uzi staircase and uh, turn take a left I think yeah I'm pretty sure and uh, basically go through the dungeon area so over here is the dungeon area right there I'm just trying to avoid the zombie so uh, go you know kite the zombie or train the zombie go through here and uh, you can actually see where the second part is I forget what it was was it rope and the pipe okay well that was a pretty simple one now the next part you have to get is gonna be a pretty complicated one this one is in the warden's office i believe now this one was a pain in my ass because i didn't know where the warden's office was and uh, i went down over here oh well but uh, it was worth it because you actually do have to go down in the power room and over here you have to shock every single light generators and uh, once you've done that uh, you can actually go to the warden's office now there's three generators in total that you have to shock i've shocked one i'm still looking around for the others you know i am still a noob at this map but i thought i'd give you guys this video to help you guys out whoever are struggling with packet bunch it took me 20 rounds to actually figure out how to get to the warden's office and how to actually pack a bunch of my guns but god it was it worth it because once i did pack a bunch of my guns let's just say mustang and sally look even sexier so over here is like the secret one where you have to go through the wall only you can do it in purgatory mode so once you've done that you've got all three of the circuit of uh, the generators that you have to do to shock now the next uh, step of this one is to actually go to the warden's office. So what you're going to want to do is go down over here or go into purgatory mode and uh, then jump into the hole in the wall. And uh, you can shock the generator if you want to, but you don't have to. And go through here and then uh, this will open the warden's office. Now this one was a pain in my ass. I want to thank uh, Dave the Rave 411 to actually, you know, making that video. And he made that video told me how to get to the warden's office. If you want to check that out, you can, I'll link it in the description below. Now once you're over here, you're going to want to get uh, the engines, I guess. I think these are engines, I'm not too sure. But this is basically the warden's office. The box was here, I was really amazed. Um, I do apologize, it was my first time in the warden's office and I was just looking around and everything. So the next part is to actually be in the shower room and uh, you know I didn't do these all in the same order that I'm showing you in the video I think this is the easiest way to actually show you guys and uh, which steps are the easiest so which to do first Now this one is kind of hard so I recommend getting a few more players over here I didn't know the washing machine was gonna troll me and make zombies spawn so I kind of uh, shit myself and I'm like oh my god what the hell is going on but basically I only had one zombie left at the end of round 13 and somehow uh, the washing machine made all of these spawn now when did this spawn I just you know um, did my little training routine killed them all off and once I did kill them all off the washing machine opened and it had a t-shirt now that was easy so then it led me to the two-hour journey of trying to find where the next part was so there you can see the washing machine opened it has my t-shirt in I think the t-shirt is going to be used for sheets on the plane and uh, let's move on to the next part now the next part takes place in the infirmary, so go up these stairs and uh, you know what to do, take a left. I did, I'm still exploring the map, so I went to the wrong area, I'm like, where the hell am I? So when you go into the infirmary, take a left and then you're going to want to go through these, uh, well, go through the infirmary basically. I see an acid part over here, I'm pretty sure to, you know, make how, how you make the acid kit in another video. But for now, let's unlock the packet punch. 
So when you come over here, you're gonna find another part which is in like a cupboard, which is pretty simple. It's probably the easiest part to find. Now I've got four of the five parts, and the last part is uh, the uh, warden's office one, uh, the generators of the en engines that you need. So once you're over here, uh, you, uh, you're gonna want to get the power again, I guess. You're gonna have to open the door which leads to the rooftop. So once you're over here, go down, uh, go to the circuit thing, go down and uh, you're gonna have to find the hole in the wall. And uh, like I said, I was still exploring the map so I didn't know where the hole in the wall actually was. So I'm still looking for, I'm like, where the hell do I go to unlock the door up top? And uh, I eventually find it, so don't worry. I make it back in time to my body and the zombies don't eat my face. So over here you have to go up and uh, you're finally on the roof. I got so chuffed when I finally got on the roof. And, uh, it, you know, I just, I couldn't believe it, I finally did it. So over here is where you unlock the door, which will lead you back down to the infirmary or the greenhouse or the cupboard area, where the Deadshot Daiquiri is, and then you can revive yourself and uh, you're pretty much good to go. You've got all five parts and then it'll lead you to Pack-a-Punch. So, once you've collected all the parts over here, I'm so happy that I get to build this plane and just get out of this Alcatraz Island. So, over here, I put together the plane and I take off. So, that is how you get all the parts. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please, please, please leave a like or in because you have no idea how much effort I put in. I'll leave this video. I want to show you guys how you take off, what's going on, what the character's saying, and how you actually eventually arrive to the Pack-a-Punch uh, Golden Gate Bridge Island thing. I was going to call it the Pack-a-Punch Island, but it's not. It's Golden Gate Bridge. So... I'm still on round 20, and if you guys are interested, I'm going to, you know, stay there. I'm going to carry on with my rounds and see how far I can actually get to. Uh, I'll be sure to make more videos on Mob of the Dead. I just want to see how far I can get. Um, the Pack-a-Punch Island seems to be a good place to camp at because uh, it's, you know, pretty much a circle where you can camp. So, uh, I will say when doing this, be sure to, uh, you know, take notice that you do have enough of those purgatory or afterlife um, shells or rounds or whatever you want to call it afterlife life i guess and uh, over here you can see pack a bunch i pack a bunch my m1911 i kept that gun for 20 whole runs just so i could pack a punch it and boy was it worth it look at those bad boys that orange and gold sexy camo cannot be it it's 10 times better than the other one that we had now. I also packed a bunch of my AK-47 and uh, it became a pretty awesome weapon. Now, if you do want to get back from this island, what you're going to want to do is go to the electric chairs on uh, the Golden Gate Bridge. Why do I keep calling it an island? And <laughs> this guy gets owned. This zombie boss just did not see what was coming. I was like, I'm testing these bad boys out and he's dead. Teabag the floor. So, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you found it useful to get back to Alcatraz or... Yeah, to Alcatraz, all you have to do is go to those electric chairs and, you know, kill yourself and you'll basically go and spawn uh, back at the uh, island. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you found it useful, please be sure to leave a like rating and I'd really appreciate that. Thank you everyone for watching. My name is Vix and uh, be sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel and goodbye.